Hey guys, I'm Rosa Kim from Cal TV, and today I am here with Daryl Roberts, the director of movie America the Beautiful. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, um, to start off broadly, there was so much information in this movie. A lot of information from like plastic surgery to cultural erosion to female objectification to the hazards of cosmetics. But out of these, what struck you the most? What was the most significant for you? Um, I think it was like three things mm -hmm. that really struck me. One of them, you mentioned the, uh, the carcinogens and cosmetics. Remember, I wear like cologne and all this stuff every day, and I never had any idea that I was putting a specific ingredient, diabutyl phthalates is, is the name, into me that's been linked to calling, causing uh, allergies and, and cancer. Then you get to the uh, eating disorders and how the coroners have gotten together around the country and said that you cannot put eating disorders as a cause of death on a death certificate. They put unknown causes or they put uh, organ failure. You know, Sher Terry Schiavo mm -hmm. died of an eating disorder and a lot of people don't know it. They just focused on our organ failing. Then you go to how these, you watch Dr. 90210 yeah, I've heard and these it, yeah. different uh, plastic surgery shows and the doctors on there are not board certified. Matter of fact, not only are they not board certified, but the Federal Trade Commission has said that in 1977 that any doctor with an MD degree could be a plastic surgeon. So when you put all these things together, you know what the common denominator was for me? that these were things that primarily, primarily mm -hmm. affected women. Mm -hmm. So I felt like our society were not stepping in the way that they should um, because it primarily involved women. And I feel like that's a historic thing here in America where things that primarily involve women don't get the proper attention that it deserves. Like the way they treat breast cancer is different than the way they treat prostate cancer, which is for men. So. That was my biggest shock. That here it is, 2008. We're in the most supposedly the most civilized, <laughs> powerful country in the world, right. and our women are still being affronted. Mm -hmm. You know, like they were 50 years ago. So that that really bothered me. We are five percent Americans, five mm -hmm. percent of the world's population, but we disseminate 40 percent of the world's advertising. So Western advertising is wreaking havoc on countries uh, all over the world. This idea of perfect beauty, it does have its destructive consequences, but I'm gonna play the devil's advocate here okay. and <laughs> say um, it does in some cases promote a healthy lifestyle of a good diet and sufficient exercise in a way. Um, so what do you think we should be doing to promote more of that lifestyle instead of promoting well, eating disorders. And I think what I'd say is mm -hmm. that the concept, I don't think beauty mm -hmm. and, and what they're selling mm -hmm. promotes this healthy lifestyle and it does promote dieting mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. sure. But remember what they're really promoting mm -hmm. is this unattainable image. Right. A size zero, a size double zero. Mm -hmm. Everyone living was not meant to be a size zero. And um, throughout this documentary, you asked many people about um, what their definition of beauty was. And I'm curious as to what your definition of beauty is. Um, yeah, it sounds like the old cliche, but <laughs> I think it's uh, warmth. Uh, mm -hmm. I like intelligence, uh, people that are compassionate, people that believe in something more than themselves. I believe that here in America, we've developed a very individualistic type of personality. It was all about me, me, me. So I like people that try to look outside of themselves and, and do good in the world. Uh, humor, like women are kind of funny, you know. Yeah. Um, things like that. Um, finally, since UC Berkeley is known for our free, our free speech movement. I've heard that, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> And um, so right now, we will give you the opportunity to say whatever you want. It doesn't have to be about this movie or the topics in general or whatever. It can just be whatever you want to say. Whatever I want to say. Yes. Of all the time in the world as well. <laughs> hmm, that's interesting. I haven't thought of, like, whatever I want to say. Well, I guess it's not necessarily uh, pertain to beauty either, mm -hmm. but I just need to say that, and I really feel this, that mm -hmm. you, meaning 
people that are in college now, mm -hmm. I, I kind of given up on our generation, but you're our future. And with global warming and uh, capitalism and things like that, there's a lot of wrong that is happening in the world. Mm -hmm. through, uh, we're becoming overpopulated with global warming. If we don't do something, I really mean you, your generation, because you're the future, then the world's just going to give out. We will have like really utilized all of the world's resources. So I guess I'd like to say, help us. Can you say one more thing for us? Sure. Go Bears. That's not the Chicago Bears. Oh, like the <laughs> no, thing? it's the Golden Bears, the UC Berkeley oh, gotcha. Golden Bears. Okay. <laughs> Go Bears. Yes, great. Thank you very much. No, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you for watching.